Hey everyone, welcome to Fast Jest Friday number 10, the challenge edition. Um, bit of a spoiler alert there, but you're going to have to wait and see what I mean by that. Just going to play two really quick games and um, go to bed. As you see, I just lost this one just before. Just a bit of a few warm-up games to get the, the hand moving when you play one minute. A lot of it's speed, especially at the end. So um, I look, it looks like this guy is moving just super quick. Um, check. check. I love checking people that play the Scandinavian because they always get a bit nervous. I always feel like they're not quite sure what's going on. Um, looks like this guy is just trading everything off. I've been playing a bit silly lately, so I'm going to try and just play some smart chess. I think I might be able to pin this knight, which will be nice. Oh, uh, good. If he went check then, I think he would have actually won the game, which wouldn't have been very good. Oh, I had a check. It's because I'm tired, eh? It's no good. Oh well, at least we're up a piece. Just shows with one minute, you don't have to be the the Check. greatest player. You just gotta keep moving. I think the big thing to remember here is that I don't get checkmated on the back rank. Um, Check. I, th I think he's just playing. Oh, international now. master. Um, I always get nervous when I'm playing an international master. I have very bullshit openings. So it's often the, do I keep playing bullshit or do I try and play something that's semi-serious? Um, normally it doesn't work too well. But it looks like in this game I've actually ended up not too bad. And unfortunately you have to think. You can't just play bullshit. Um, I think what my plan is is just have a strong position. He's clearly not super high rated so... I think as long as I just don't do anything ridiculously dumb, just slowly build up the position, get my pieces looking in better, better spots, keep my pawn structure solid, I should have a pretty good game. Um, might try and get control of this middle rank. So I think I'm up. A, oh, I always say that. I think I'm up a pawn. Guess what? I'm not up a pawn at all. I think normally when you're playing an IM and you think you're up a pawn, you've clearly miscalculated something, which is exactly what I've done here. It's gonna get rocked there. Check. That's interesting. Check. Probably looking at some way to mate me. Check. Okay, if I don't lose on time here, I should be okay. Huh. That was lucky. Um, I'm pretty sure he had a checkmate in one somewhere around here. Oh, it didn't too. If he went rook there, check. I have to move my rook back and he takes it, checkmate. But, um, there you go. Not a bad lesson number two. That's how you beat an IM. Just play like shit and move really fast. Um, so, I don't know if you all remember this one game. It was from quite a while ago. Uh, I played a women's international master called Pool Belly. So, um, I'll just give you a 20 second reminder of how that game Oh, we're playing a women's international master. I think mm -hmm. she's giving me the, the courtesy 10 second advantage. Maybe I'm just that threatening. Okay, I'll focus for a bit. So this is just going to be nice and easy for me. She can do whatever she likes. There's no way that she's ever going to win this. Oh shit, my queen was on. Oh, okay. You know, it's all about getting the job done. She's ever gonna so, um... I had a had a pretty good win against her. Yeah, even though, you know, I had 30 second advantage, but I thought I was in pretty good control, feeling good about myself while I uh, got this email.
come through and uh, I'll challenge you to five one minute games after you beat me last time. Though you were very lucky as I gave you a 30 second advantage and I'm pretty sure I was winning. Hmm. Tell you what. Challenge accepted. Bring it on. Five game match. I don't know. What do you think the score is going to be? Add it to the comments if you can guess right. I'm thinking three and a half, one and a half in my favour. I don't know. Confidence is a good thing, but I guess we'll see how it works out. I guess you have to come and watch next week. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Hope you've been enjoying your chess, and I'll see you next week. Bye.